an advanced course uh, for uh, practitioners who already have exposed to uh, either radio or focus uh, for at least six months about this is looking into uh, shockwave in uh, hip groin and knee pathology so we know in the last 10 years there's been a lot of research on pathology so we're seeing more and more patients with tendon issues bone stress inju injuries osteitis pubis uh, gluteal tendinopathy uh, knee osteoarthritis um, things like uh, proximal and distal ITB so what I have tried to bring here is to try one course which is going to cover all the key pathologies of hip growing uh, and also knee pathologies in one place one of the things which I find practitioners struggle with is the differential diagnosis so I've uh, uh, published a book on that last year where they looked into the different categories of uh, all the various pathologies so here we look into all the key pathologies which is going to be improved by shockwave so that's a majority of conditions can have an effect can have a beneficial effect with shockwave and I'll go through protocol of each of them so how do you treat a tendon how do we treat an osteitis pubis? How do you treat a uh, chronic proximal hamstring? So how do you treat a patellar tendon and things like that? So we try to cover the whole spectrum of uh, pathologies which can be covered with either radial focus as well as AMTT. So that is the main focus of the course. So the course on shockwave on hip and groin and knee disorders is for any healthcare professionals involved in the rehabilitation of lower limb injuries, especially hip and knee. So we find uh, usually a lot of physios, osteos, Kairos, uh, sports therapist, uh, some strength and conditioning coaches, even running coaches come and attend us. So, uh, because we know this lower limb injuries are most of them are overused. So, if you have struggling uh, athletes or recreational uh, um, patients who want to get back into running, uh, recreational football, hockey, or anything which stops them, and they have the chronic conditions like um, early osteoarthritis, hip impingement, uh, tendon issues, bone stress issues. So if you're really stuck with those patients and you want to use an evidence-based modality like shockwave, then this course is for you.